Hello awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the novel Time of the Twins by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, which was published in February of 1986, just a few months after uh, Dragons of Autumn, uh, uh, Dra Dragons of Spring Dawning rather, uh, that was published in, uh, uh, in, in the end part of that year. And actually 1985 also published a middle book in that, in that series, uh, Winter Night. Uh, so this is the next book in the series. Uh, Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman have just started writing they're very prolific during this time. Um, I, I, this is my second time reading the novel. I finished it yesterday for the second time. I knocked it out when I was in high school, uh, junior high, and college uh, for the for the Chronicles. Um, and then when I was in junior high, I knocked out the Legends trilogy, the Twins uh, trilogy, which were the second ones. Um, but then I, I I knocked out a bunch of other things too in junior high high school in the Dragonlance trilogy. But I've never gone back and reread them in the series except for the trilogy, uh, the proper uh, that introduces the things, which is which which we've already done for you, um, and I've done a recent review for you and a deep dive into it. Uh, now again, I said I've read this three times until just recently, uh, fourth time, I knocked it out for you. Uh, so what I'll do um, is I will link you to the Tom the Twins uh, in the uh, comments below. Now I would. Have given like like I mentioned in my original Dragon Lance Chronicles uh, reviews, I would have given this a nine at the time. Um, if you would ask me to give it a rating out of, out of ten, uh, but instead I gave it a seven out of ten. Have coming back to it, um, there are more issues that I saw. It's more episodic in nature. There, are some, you know, the third book is longer than it needs to be. It's not the best book in the world. Um, although this was a best-selling book, put the the, the writers on the map in a major way, and I followed them to other worlds, other series, uh, and that sort of a thing. So, Time of the Twins, then, is kind of the beginning of the Twins trilogy. Uh, and I went back and read it. Again, I probably would have given this an 80 out of 10 uh, when, I, when I read it originally, when I, when, when I read, right after reading uh, Dragonlance Chronicles. Um, uh, but now, having read it again, it's not even a seven. <laughs> it's really more of a six. Uh, uh, I don't think uh, that this needed to be an entire trilogy. Uh, for example, uh, this is the, the basic key concepts. I remember I keep my, my, my reviews spoiler free in case you haven't read it. Um, but the basic key spoilers here uh, are that you end up having, uh, you know, in the, in the first part, uh, it is, you're, gonna, you're going to find uh, that Raceland is bring this who's an evil wizard um, who's who's a major character in the first three uh, books uh, and uh, he is going to be uh, beginning to uh, work very closely with this good cleric uh, who's introduced in this book and is another major character of the force uh, that are in here three three in turn Carmen uh, Tass and Raceland it's a much smaller group of people uh, than the big cast of characters from the original books uh, and uh, so you're going to have a lot more happen with these characters, hopefully more character development, that sort of thing. But I think it's to, to the book's detriment because I think that you had some great character arcs from the previous stuff, some great things that were happening. Everybody had their favorite character, which was different. Uh, and um, they introduced a lot of characters uh, that are in the place that they're set in. Uh, but there's really just four main characters that are happening with, throughout the series. And the Stroll Gym is starting with the Town of the Twins. Um, now, the key sort of concept here is that they're traveling in time. Uh, they're going back in time to the devastating period of the uh, the most devastating period called the Cataclysm that's introduced in the world building in the first, uh, no, which is a few hundred years ago. And that's it. All right, but the actual time travel doesn't start to like 200 pages through a 400 page novel. So I really think that if you were to do this as one novel and just move the prelude of 200 pages to like 50 pages, <laughs> and then you could have removed some of the things, uh, so, so, some of the world building and some of this craziness. Uh, for example, there's a chapter in here uh, after we've been talked about, after we've we found out, you know, about time travel and that sort of a thing, uh, that is just a conversation between the leader, uh, the lead uh, mage uh, over at the major tower at Waylon talking to some other mages and basically all he does they ask him questions about the spell he sh he, he answers them um, and says i'm still going to cast the spell even though i know you guys don't want me to nothing changes no no minds are changed N nothing happens it's a dialogue chapter with some with some words uh, with some descriptions about what the spell will actually do it really doesn't serve a greater purpose to the novel to be here and as i'm reading it now as again as an adult there are a lot of sections and plots and so forth that I just don't think are necessary uh, to the function of this as a trilogy. Uh, I think it would have been better as a book. 
Uh, you could have maybe get maybe added a 50 pages or 100 pages to it. I think you would have been into a 500 page novel. Um, and I think so. I think it's overly long. Going back to it uh, again, uh, but it's fine. Uh, it's still, it's still, I'm still enjoying it. I'm going to finish the, the trilogy uh, for the second now uh, and do some reviews for you for two as well. Uh, but there you are. Now, this stuff, again, put Margaret Weiss and Tracy McMillan on the map in a major way. It's best selling series. Uh, they will come back to this world again and again and again. And I love this. And I've done a lot of novels and I own a lot of novels from it. But again, other than, other than the first trilogy, I've not read any of these more than once. So after I finish the trilogy, will I be in the move to do some other ones? I guess we'll find out uh, and see. Um, I'm considering maybe moving on to Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman's uh, Dark Torch Trilogy, uh, although I'm not, you know, committing to that yet. Uh, that's sort of where I think I'm going to go next, is follow these writers to, to one of their first things that they wrote uh, outside of the Dragonland writers of current Kren. Uh, this is, for a lot of people, this these uh, series and the, these novels um, and these two writers uh, were a gateway into gaming, since these, these are set in a Dungeons & Dragons world. And a lot of people who read this stuff first um, and then got interested in the world and then played the world and came to it later. Uh, and so I, I know a lot of people that did it. I also know some people that for whom uh, they have read, they've done both. Um, and I know that a lot of people have heard of these, uh, but they haven't actually read them. Uh, they just heard of them. Uh, now, there's no new grounds, although the time travel concept is actually kind of one for this trilogy. It's actually one that's not that common. So that I do you know, want to give him credit for that. That's really more of a science fiction story, although it's in, it's, it's in Pern, too. They're in the first book in Pern, there's a time travel story. So it's, I don't want to say, you know, it's the first time that we've seen it, but it's relatively rare as a key part of the sort of storyline. Uh, so I definitely want to give these uh, two writers credit for that. Uh, so there is some, there are these occasional different things and different interpretations of regular things, uh, but there's no new ground. There's no, there's nothing new to say, right? Uh, and so, you know, if you're coming to this and reading this for the first time in 2022, uh, and it's fine, it's a good place to start for reading, especially if you have experience with the Dungeons and Dragons game. Just don't expect too much because, again, I think the first trilogy, after re going back and rereading it as an adult in, in, in my middle ages, was more of a 7 out of 10 than a 9 out of 10. And I think that this is more of a 6 out of 10 uh, than a, uh, an 8 out of 10 that I would have given earlier. Now, it's still strong. It's still fun. I still enjoyed it. I'm still going to finish the trilogy. But there you are. That's Time of the Twins. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with my takes in any way or shape or form? If so, I would be more than happy to engage with it further uh, in the comments below, whatever your opinion is. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There will be a lot more of these to follow. Fantasy. And then I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing and watching my video. We all have so many things happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.